Now we're going to continue with on-screen takeoff. First of all, we're going to do a review exercise by measuring the bedroom floor area. And on your toolbar, making sure the second button is being clicked so the unit will be square feet. Verify the scale. The scale should be uh, a quarter inch equal to one foot. Now click on each corner of the bedroom, including the walk-in closet. Do not miss any corners. I want to make sure that you will go back and click on the original point to form a closed loop. So the square foot is about 122 square feet. And click delete to take out the measurement. And zoom out until you can see the left side of the building. Today, the first uh, new task we're going to do is to measure the total length of the wall for one unit. At least for one unit, we want to know how many linear foot of the wall we need to do the wood framing. Now this time, we're going to pick a different tool, which is the line. So click on that, and the unit will know it's a linear foot. And your measurement will be done by simply coloring the wall. However, we don't want you to include any outside wall. And we also don't want you to do any deduction for openings. So whenever you have a door, all you have to do is just run it across. Uh, you don't want to double count the wall, and you don't want to miss any wall either. When you finish, the measurement should be close to 100 linear foot. And now take out the wall by clicking the delete button. The next thing we're going to do is on the left side, we have a small parking lot and we want to know how many square meter, yes, how many square meter is the surface area for the parking lot. Now we're going to click on the area measurement. And uh, this time we have to change the scale. Go and pick one inch equal to 20 feet. And zoom in until you feel comfortable with the screen. Before we start, I have to mention on your keyboard, there is the key we're going to use. It's called Shift Key. Now click on each corner of the shape. When you get to the curved portion, all you have to do is hold down your shift key. Hold down the shift key with your left hand and uh, with your right hand, you still click and click. If uh, you make a mistake, you can just uh, push escape key on your keyboard. Escape key on your keyboard and uh, it will undo a few points. Close. The whole shape should be around 1,200 square feet. But if we want to know the square meter, all we have to do is just change the unit number. Now it's 112 square meter. I think this concludes the fundamentals of the on-screen takeoff measurement. If you want to know more, you can go to their website by clicking Help and About the Software and then click on the website. There will be a link called support and the on-screen takeoff and then you can click on the training videos from that you can apparently learn more about the software and hopefully you enjoyed this learning experience